up guys, it's Tariana Everson and welcome to my Malaysia haul, yay! Okay, so I just got back from Malaysia the other day and the last time I was there was about last year. Bird! The last time I was in Malaysia was about last year and of course I had to haul some more things. I was there for an event but it was so short guys, like I literally just showed up on one day and then the next day was the, the event and then the next day after I left. So I only had maybe about three or four hours to shop in the airport mall, so this is what I got. I can't do without snacks, I'm all about the snacking. So I got these Pocky flavors. I got strawberry and blueberry, but like with real blueberry and strawberry cream flakes. I'm sure it tastes more like a fruit than it does like an artificial strawberry or blueberry flavor so I'm so excited to try this! Next up are these Milo Energy Cubes. I've been seeing them in bazaars but I didn't buy them because they were so expensive so why not go to Malaysia where they have all these Milo products and we'll try it right now. I don't think you're supposed to just pop these and stuff there for getting energy. Oh my god, it smells so much like Milo. So this is it. It's really tiny. It's like a sugar cube, which it probably is. But it tastes like Milo. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Okay, if you know what oval teenies taste like, the little round oval teen bite thing candies, this is exactly like it, but better because I prefer Milo. Oh my goodness, it's so delicious. These are dangerous. I could finish this whole bag and there are 50 inside of here. You can't stop me. Now for some beauty products, of course, I got this. Okay, so I also got this in Japan, but I had to buy it again because I just ran out and it took me about three or four months to run out of this product. It's the Bethesda Eye Makeup Remover. One of the best that I've tried. Quick and effective water-based eye makeup remover giving you clean and moisturized skin and even removes waterproof mascara. And I always wear waterproof mascara because if I don't, I'm gonna get panda eyes. Speaking of which, drugstore find, which I currently love, is the Maybelline False <laughs> the Maybelline Falsies Push Up Angel Hydrofuge. Okay, so this mascara is what I'm wearing right now. And it really curls my lashes, which I don't usually curl my lashes because they're kind of curled already. But this holds the curl and gives it volume and length at the same time. So I feel closer to being an angel with this mascara, which I keep putting around. So here is a close-up of my eyes with a mascara. I love it. It gives it a really natural curl. It's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. Alright, so it's all about personal hygiene too, guys. So I got some toothpaste. It's called Darlie when I'm in Hong Kong. I also hoard this, but finally I got to restock. This is just their double action original strong mint toothpaste. Tastes really nice and minty in a spearmint type of a sense, not the overpowering pepperminty taste. When you wash it out, you don't get that gritty feeling afterwards, which is wonderful. It's exactly what I'm looking for. And here we have it. Next up, I got this. I have never heard of this brand before. It's called Palladio. It's an oil absorbing blotting tissue with rice powder. It just says rice paper here. And it's in the shade Warm Beige. So it does have a tinted powder with 40 sheets inside. It's the super size size. So it's a tinted sheet. It looks like this on the inside. You pull it out and when you blot it on your forehead, it kind of gives that powdery effect so that it doesn't ruin your makeup and make sure that you don't look oily anymore. And my forehead is always getting really shiny, so this is really important for me. And I don't know why my forehead gets shiny. It's not that I'm getting oily or anything, it's just so smooth. And that's a really good problem to have. I just <laughs> needed some sort of an oil blotting sheet with a powder and this is it. Lastly, for the beauty products, I got this L'Oreal Pure Clay Mask in Hydration. So they have this in Illuminating and something else, but <laughs> the one I chose was the Pure Clay Mask in Hydration because I feel like sometimes my skin needs a bit of zing when it's during those months that it's getting colder and my skin needs that boost of moisture. So I tried this last night 
and I like it. So it has bentonite clay and lemon balm essential oil. One, you can smell the lemon and the bentonite clay really makes it tight on your skin so when you try to smile or talk it hurts and it has this tingly feeling which is normal so if you're wondering if your face is melting off it's not it's just the bentonite clay doing its work if you've tried the Aztec uh, clay powder that you mix in with apple cider vinegar and water, it's something like that. When I put it on, I did not use my hands, I used a brush to spread it evenly. So for the last minute buys that I purchased in the airport itself before leaving, I got this magazine. It's called Cleo with Alexa on the front and I love her, her style is so cool and there's an interview about her here. Uh, this is not a Malaysian magazine, but it is the Malaysian version of the magazine. It's really cheap. It's 6.36 ringgit, which is about 75 pesos. It's crazy! But maybe because it is a local uh, publication. I always get a souvenir magnet to put on my locker. I've gotten one from... I'm looking over it. I've got one from Rome, from Singapore. Um, from Tokyo. I have a bunch and I'm so happy so now I have one to add to my Malaysia collection because the last time I was there I didn't get to get a magnet it just slipped my mind. That's it guys that was my Malaysia haul I hope you enjoyed this video if you want me to talk about more things or if you have video suggestions of course you can leave it in the comment box down below. Anyway guys thank you so much for tuning in don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time bye! I've seen these in some bazaar It's not like most put it on. I didn't use. Mm. Hello.